What's up you guys, Steven with Magic Window Money back again. I know it's been a little bit since I've uploaded, but I have been very, very busy procrastinating this video, playing video games and not really doing much. So that's why I haven't uploaded in a little bit, but here we are, we're back again, we're back on the horse, we're back at it. Multiple videos every week, or maybe once a week. We'll see, time will tell. Double Masters is at $430 a box. Yeah, you heard me, $430 a box, which is crazy, and honestly, I'm joking about the whole procrastination thing, kind of, but really, I have been watching these prices over the last few weeks. I wanted to make a price, a video about this when the price was at like 380, and every few days, the price just keeps going up. I mean, it just keeps on going up. You see all the different listings on TCG Player, a couple boxes at each price, every $5 increment, you know, 380, two boxes, 385, three boxes, 390, one box, and every day, they just keep getting bought, slowly but surely. There's a few boxes being sold of Double Masters, every single day and it's clear up to $430 a box and as you can see it doesn't really take much until you get to 450 you know it's, there's gonna be a few boxes available if you want to get a case of this stuff you're gonna be close to 450 for a box so what has been happening first of all this box was $300 we're less than a year from from release right didn't this release in August August 1st of 2020 it was definitely in the summer of 2020 so we're like nine months after release and they were like 300 bucks for for most of the, of the lifetime and, and even up to a few months ago even into 2021 you know six months after release in january february you can get these for three three ten a box but over the last couple months things have been climbing up and you can say it's inflation or whatever it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what you say it is the fact of the matter is it costs more dollars than it used to cost regardless as to whether or not those dollars are, are worth less the price has been going up so let's dive into this a little bit there's some really really interesting numbers here so first of all all of these numbers I'm about to talk about, looking at the rares and mythics, these are all non-foil, right? And, and because of the Double Masters VIP thing and two foils in every pack for not even VIP, plus all the foils in VIP, there's not that much of a foil multiplier, right? This isn't like seventh edition where a foil Birds of Paradise is like 20 times the price of a non-foil or whatever it is. There's a slight multiplier. So all of these prices are non-foil. Keep that in mind because there's going to be a little bit of a premium for those foils. But And, and also... I did all the math of this, assuming you could get these boxes for like 390, 400. But again, over the last like three days, all of those have disappeared. There's, there's no longer any available that for that. They went up to 410, 415, and, and now they're up to 430. So the, the, the numbers are a little bit off, but it's not gonna make that big of a difference, honestly. So first of all, at this price, and, and let's say that, you know, maybe over the next few days, over a few weeks, maybe some more come onto the market. People recognize the big jump in price and they wanna lock in profits. So we might see a little bit of backtrace and it might go back down to 400. So it's possible these specific numbers are relevant, but if not, it's only off by you know a few percentage points. So 1667 a pack, right? So you buy a box for 400 bucks, you divide that by 24, 24 packs in a box, you get 1667 a pack. And since there are two rares in every pack, that's really, really important, two rare slash mythic slots, uh, you're gonna get $8.33 per rare. All right, so first of all, looking at this set, there are six individual cards, again, non-foil, there are six different cards that sell for over $100. Now, of those six, most of them are the, the full art, full Monty, right? So again, for some clarity on this video, we have the full art Force of Will, right? Which is like 200 something dollars. Uh, and then we have the non-full art Force of Will, non-full art alternate art, which is still over $100. So, Keeping that in mind, of the six cards that are over $100, the two of them are non-full art, right? just normal. There are nine cards between $50 and $99, right? nine different rares or mythics that, that are between $50 and $99. Again, three of those are non-full art and six of them are full art. So as you can see here, most of the expensive cards, of course, are the alternate art full art, as they should be, that makes sense. And they are less common. Between the $40 and $49 price point, there's another six cards, two of which are non-full art. Between $20 and $39, there's another 23 cards. So uh, th th there's quite a bit, and, and 12 of those, about half of those are non-full art. So just $20 and more, all the way up to you know $200 plus dollars for a card, there are 44 different cards, different rares or mythics, that are $20 or more. It's 16, 70, 67 a pack. That's pretty interesting. Uh, and then between you know 16, 67, so the price of a pack and the 20 bucks, there's another seven, four of which are non 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 full art. Uh, and then the price of the rare, right? Eight dollars and thirty three cents is like, hey, the price of the rare. There's another 28. So in total, if you're keeping track, there are 79 different cards, different rares or mythics that are at the price of a of, the, of a rare slot, right? 
half the price of a pack since there are two rares of mythic per pack pretty wild and of those 79 42 of them are non-full art so just over half of them are non-full art and then the other just under half are going to be full art variants which is definitely something to consider when looking at the individual cards making up this price point right because part of the reason why prices are up is because of that that gambler's premium the fact that you can open a single pack of cards and potentially open two mythics right is, is crazy plus you have the the two foil slots so i guess theoretically you could get four rare slash mythics i don't think that's realistically possible uh but that that gambler's premium is definitely there so the fact that there are some really high-end expensive cards are definitely influencing the price of of these of these boxes right and the fact that you get twice as many shots at it like right? you open one pack and you could open a sword and a force of will or whatever right or a mana crypt and you could open up and now in regular booster boxes, which is what we're talking about, we're not talking about the VIP, we'll talk about that in the end, which there's some really interesting stuff about VIPs we're going to get to, but just the regular booster boxes, in those packs, you can't get the full arts. Now, in a booster box, there is the box topper, right? So the box topper is going to have two cards in it, both of which are going to be full art variants. So if you open a box, right, you buy yourself a box of, of Double Masters, non-VIP, just regular Double Masters booster box, you're going to get 24 packs, so you're going to get 48 rares, plus the two full art rares in your box toppers. And there's a really good chance that some of those are going to be some money cards. Now, are you going to make up your money? On average, no, obviously, but that's why you have that gambler's premium, right? The, 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 the randomness involved with it. That's why we see these prices going up. It's definitely surprising to see these prices going up so fast. You know, we're only like nine months after release, but it's the world we live in, people. There's a new set every other day. Print runs can be smaller for some of these because they have to force so much product through the distribution system, especially when local game stores are closed and they can't even draft. That's gonna be a big factor for all products that came out in 2020. Now, what's interesting is that, again, with Double Masters, yes, there are 79 cards that are the price of a rare slot or more. 42 of them are the non, the non, uh, non full art versions. But Double Masters is a huge set. There are 40 Mythics and 121 Rares. So of the 42, that only makes up like 25%, which isn't bad. Don't get me wrong, that's not bad. And obviously I know percentages are a little different with averages with Mythics being less common and everything than that. Uh, but, but the reality is, is 25% of the Rares are Mythics you know, in a combined total number. Not 25% not of the ones you pull, but 25% of the total number, you know, 42 of the 161 uh, are over the price of a Rare slot that's gonna drive the price to go up, right? Because there's a really good chance that when you open a single pack that you could spike and, and, and happen to get lucky and get something that's worth the price of the pack, right? That, that's very possible and definitely, definitely a factor as to why we see these prices going up. Now, pivoting to VIP masters. This is where it gets really interesting because these VIP boxes, these prices haven't been moving, right? I've been watching again, like I said, over the last few weeks, I've been watching boxes were at 380. 385, 390, just going up little five, $10 increments every every day that a box or two would sell and the price would change. But VIPs, those haven't moved at all. Now VIPs, they're all about these full art fancy variants. And yes, these are foils. So there's definitely gonna be an adjustment. You know, there is gonna be a little bit of a price premium for foils. And I actually have some, some foil Mistra's baubles of Double Masters. It was like what my LGS had or whatever. So I just got them. Um, wasn't ideal to get foils because they are a little bit pringly, right? That's an issue. But uh, I feel like I was able to bend them back into shape pretty well. Uh, and, and like in my deck, when they're double sleeved, I, I cannot tell which ones they are. Uh, so I, I do feel like there's actually a pretty good chance that, or I do feel like the foils are pretty good quality. Uh, that yes, there's a little bit of curling and pringling to them. They curl a little bit, but it, it's not super drastic where you can't kind of bend them and, and back into place a little bit. Now, yeah, can that affect the, the overall gem mint quality perhaps? But as far as playability and legality goes of using foils, yeah, I think these are, 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 are of the quality where you can make them blend into the rest of your deck and, and not stand out based on the curling. So that's, that's good news. So... You could spend $430, or for the purpose of our videos, we're going to say $400 if the price goes back down a little bit, but about $430 right now on a, a one booster box. Or you could get a VIP box, which is going to have the four of those VIP boosters. Right? Remember the first time we ever saw booster packs at $100 a piece? Whew, oh my, oh my. And then they made it so you could open them and reseal them and not know. Oh, nice. Great quality control on a premium product. Anyway, aside from those security risks, 
the reality is for the same price as a booster box, you can get a VIP box, which has four of those. Now the number of rares you get way lower, right? You're going to get again, per pack, two rares slash mythics. But in addition, you get two box toppers, right? Two of those full art variants in each individual pack. So for the $400 of the four packs, you get eight foil slash mythic dot slots, but more importantly, you get eight rare slash mythic slots for the foil full art variants. And that is obviously where the money is. Again, of the cards that are expensive and worth you know $8 or more, half of them are the full art variants. So it's really, really significant. So the question is, will the prices of these VIP boxes start climbing up soon too? Maybe, uh, I'm not sure, because what would you rather do? Like if you were just gonna buy a box and you're gonna spend the same amount of money, you know, 400, 430, close to the same amount of money either way, would you rather open 24 packs in a box topper? Or would you rather open four VIP packs? That's what the market's gonna have to decide. We're gonna see if these prices start to follow, but one thing's for sure, as of right now, Double Masters booster boxes, they're not gonna be below 400 probably ever again. Unless there's some magic secret wave that's gonna release 12 months after release, I, I can't really see that happening. Uh, these prices are just gonna keep going up and will it be $500 by the end of the year? I don't know, maybe. I didn't think it'd be 430 by you know April of 2021, so it's possible. Will they hit 500 by December? Very possible. Will they hit $1,000 within two or three years after release? Maybe. Like, like that's crazy to say, because typically that's way too aggressive of, a, of an expectation. And I'm not trying to predict the future because no one can, but it is possible. And if a product were to do it, it, now seeing what I've seen for the first nine months of the product's life cycle, Double Masters booster boxes could be $1,000 within three, four years after release. Just, just crazy to think that's even possible. Absolutely insane. Thanks, like and subscribe, we'll see you next time.